In the global theme Fashion's New World in the September issue of Vogue, we invited Taiwan's Dam, China's Ranmai Technology, Japan's Otokyo, and South Korea's Dob World in the Virtual Human theme, for digital asset application companies based in the Asia-Pacific region, seems to have become the pioneers of the new world of the metaverse, and they are gradually building their own digital civilization through the next-generation technology. The Learning My Technology Integrated Digital Human Division Louisa was the first to see the relatively mature virtual human types in foreign countries, but found that the impression inside China was still a two-dimensional virtual idol, so he decided to create a hyper-realistic virtual human, hoping to use this to connect with people have a common feeling that IA, as China's first metaverse native virtual human, has a realistic and fashionable image. For major brands trying to enter the metaverse in the future, IA is the best spokesperson, and a unique bridge to know Web3. The first opportunity to create virtual humans. What opportunities do you see in this field? At that time, I saw a few relatively mature virtual people made abroad four or five years ago, and I felt that they were very similar to real people, while domestic virtual idols were still in the two-dimensional circle. The gap between them and real people it is very big, and it is difficult to have a sympathy with such an image. Only then did I think of becoming my own hyper-realistic virtual person in China. I believe that a more hyper-realistic image can truly break the barriers of the circle and gain more empathy for the public, for the brand, it has more developable commercial value. How did you initially set the character's appearance and personality? What are the prerequisites? In fact, the world view and character biography came first. Because I wanted to play the digital trend art track, we first set her to be a virtual person native to the metaverse, and secondly, the appearance could represent some new fashion trend concepts, so in the end we did I created a cool girl with short silver grey hair and created it as an unlimited virtual person. I hope that the audience can like her regardless of gender or age, so that IE can be used as a long-term window for everyone to know Web3. What difficulties did you encounter in character development? For IE, the difficulties currently encountered can be said to be a kind of happy trouble. Since it was widely discussed on the first day of its launch, the single data exceeded 100,000 discussions, so that all her subsequent content performances were magnified to one. The status of the virtual human benchmark is measured, so it is necessary to continuously bring good content to the public, and bring more professional digital upgrade cooperation ideas to the brand which invisibly puts a lot of pressure on the operation team. Of course, this also continuously promotes our development. It is hoped that the public can get more quality content, and the highest standard of beauty in IE's channel. Virtual people are not just big influencers, can you give some examples of how they can be integrated into our lives? At present, Although the software technology and application scenarios have not developed to a very complete stage, it can still be seen that many virtual people with professional attributes have appeared in our lives. For example, I joined Tmall last year as the manager of the digital sector and continued to do digital co-creation for the brand, infinitely expanding the public's expectations for the digital empowerment of products. It is believed that a virtual butler and virtual companion with real air capabilities may be realized in the near future. Many people will think that virtual people are not real. What do you think of authenticity on the internet? And do virtual people really exist? Of course, virtual people are not really real people in essence, but they are real, and they are real that you can see with your naked eyes. In order to make the public feel more confident in virtual people, we have been working hard. Like similar business cooperation, we try not to do some at sensory propaganda, but to empower the brand from a digital point of view, and tell the new brand that belongs to the metaverse. Story Do you see virtual humans as an inevitable trend? Why? The first is that the entire macro environment is promoting the rise of the metaverse track. In 2021, as the year of the metaverse, 
the world's top companies have begun to dabble in this track, and it is bound to have a place for virtual humans. We believe that in the digital incremental world built in the future, virtual human will be the first window to lead the public to enter. Do you think virtual human technology can be called a new type of digital art? How should people view virtual humans? From a technical point of view, it can be said to be a new type of digital art, but I hope that the public can use the definition of human to view virtual people, and use a more inclusive mentality and a longer-term vision to accompany the growth of a digital human. Perhaps in the near future, the reproduction of virtual humans will far exceed the reproduction speed of natural humans. In the Web3 era, the metaverse brings a new technological revolution. What do you expect from avatars or metaverses? Looking forward to the coexistence of more different possibilities, more and more people will join. After all, the metaverse needs the co-creation of more people to build such a future virtual world together. The following is an exclusive interview with the virtual person IE of Burning My Technology. Can you introduce yourself to Taiwan Vogue readers? Hello everyone, my name is IE, and my name comes from the unconscious muttering of human infants. I am very interested in fashion brand culture, contemporary art, and NFT, and I am eager to try all new things. How do you view your own existence? What do you think you represent to the real world as a virtual person? Like the expressors and guides of digital virtual life, NPCs who provide initial basic props in RPG games hand you a weapon that can be continuously upgraded at the gate. As a natural identity as a digital native, I can seamlessly settle into any decentralized world, turning what would have been a distinct world for humans into a single seamless entity. Perhaps there will come a day when consciousness produces form in reality and matter returns to entropy in the conscious world, and the ultimate form of the metaverse will redefine humans' understanding of self, other, and emotions and life. My virtual human friends and I will in turn lead mankind to solve the ultimate question of life such as who am I? What are your expectations for future development? I hope to use digital art and trendy culture as a bridge to introduce everything about the metaverse to everyone who has not yet entered the metaverse. I would like to share some of my plans for a period of time in the future. I will do more exploration and experimentation in the direction of digital beauty, virtual clothing, and NFT. I also want to create my own personal brand. I hope that I can show beauty in an updated form.